Well, you've made it to the Everyday Tampa Bay channel. My name is Marianne Knowles. I'm with Lightly Real Estate. Today, we're talking about the six things that you need to do before you submit an offer. The first and the most important is to get a pre-approval letter. A pre-approval letter is the single most important thing that you need to do when you start your home buying journey. A lot of people think that they have time, they can call their lender when they have found a home. For starters, you wanna make sure that you know what you qualify for. You don't wanna start looking for homes that maybe you can't afford, or maybe you don't realize that there are homes that you can't afford and thought that your budget was a lot different. But when you are ready to submit an offer, a seller will not take you serious if you don't have a pre-approval letter to a company that offer with that pre-approval letter almost acts like a golden ticket so that that seller is willing to take the home off the market for you once they do accept your offer. Secondly, you will have the help from me or another realtor, but you do want to research the market. You want to see what similar homes with perhaps the same square footage, the same amount of beds and baths, if they have a pool. You want to see what they have been selling for, how long they have sat on the market, whether there were any seller's concessions. So it's very important to make sure that you are aware of the homes that are either under contract or sold in the surrounding areas. Thirdly, when you are in the home, are you inspecting the home properly? Now, I don't mean, are you getting a home inspection? We haven't gotten that far yet. But are you opening the cabinets to make sure that the hinges are working? Are you looking under the sinks to make sure that there aren't any water leaks? Do you detect any scents or odors that might be an environmental hazard? You want to make sure that you're not just looking at the home and the space that it has to offer, but you want to see if there are any defects that you can notice right away. Number four is that you want to review the seller's disclosures. A lot of buyers will only review them once they go under contract. It doesn't hurt to request to review the seller's disclosures once you become interested in a property. Again, this is a document where the seller will have to disclose any defects that they know of on the property. So you'll be able to find out if there were any wood destroying organisms in the property, if there was water intrusion, any structural, structural issues. It's very important that you become aware of any defects before you even try to make an offer on a home. Number five, are you assessing the neighborhood? When you go into a home on a Monday at 11 a.m. and it's completely quiet, will it be the exact same on a Saturday evening at 5 p.m.? You wanna make sure that you're very well versed on the neighborhood, what's around there, what types of schools are there, are there any crime rates, are there any amenities that the neighborhood has to offer. You wanna see if your route will work going to and from wherever you're commuting to. It's always important to revisit the property more than once, so make sure that you're really assessing the surrounding neighborhoods as well. And lastly, where did you get your agent? Did you do enough research? Have you looked them up? Or did you just pick up the phone and whoever answered is who you're working with? In today's market, there are so many hiccups that take place in a transaction. You really want to make sure that you've done your due diligence and you're working with somebody who understands the property in which you're interested in and also understands the market and beyond. Purchasing a home is extremely stressful and there's a lot of hurdles that you have to overcome in order to get to the closing table. Find somebody that you know, like, and trust. And if you have any questions, my name is Marianne Knowles. I'm with Lightly Real Estate. My channel is Every Day Tampa Bay. Click the subscribe button, get to know me, and if you have any questions, I'd love to help you out. Take care.